Kritchik and I am here with the season 3 finale of Vikings. I am so excited, I'm scared, and I am ready. But with this being the season finale, that means that my next Vikings video will be the Q&A. So if you could put down your season 3 questions that you have for me, I will try to answer them to the best of my ability and uh, really fun, I love doing them, season 3 Q&A video that will probably come out a couple days after. So make sure you put down your questions down below, make sure to um, stick to season 3 so you don't spoil anything for me, and with that being said, let's get into the season finale of Vikings season 3. God, he is not looking good. Oh, Helga. Where the hell are you taking her? Because it looks like a creepy murder dungeon. If you would submit. To what? Christian to Gray, is that you? <laughs> of course, I will allow you to choose the whip. Some are more severe than others. I did not see this coming. If he dies, he's only asked one thing. That he receive a proper Christian burial. Otherwise, we will not leave. Sing we are missing shows with Queen Robert. Can seven it said a lady Christian. Neither but he was Ella Lutfuel. Sabia Eliglise, Cathedral, Nate Bullets. Postre Jean Sansan, me patron. Later, Christian Ness, Cantrum Swasson. He says you may bring his body to the cathedral, carried by unarmed men. They will say a Christian mass for his soul. <sighs> Is he dead? Wow. You tell. Kinda also true. <laughs> but my dude. Gustav is such a good actor, man.
huh? Wow. Let's go. I can't believe it. I Wow. Oh my god, I love the show. Wow. Hate him. Floki, you doubted our boy, man. That means he heard what he said. I'm dead. I'm dead. He heard what everyone said. Oh no. The last time they're probably gonna see each other. Wow. I won't have to offer them even more than that. I must offer them something far more precious to me. And gold for supper. Yep. Heard a rollo. She's gonna be shook. I must offer your hand in marriage. <laughs> this is Count Odo's doing. Just because I refuse to marry him, he wants to have me thrown to the dogs. Will you not consider it, my child, for the sake of Paris? I would do almost anything for the sake of Paris. Yeah, I believe I it. would kill myself for the sake of Paris. But I will not be tied in holy matrimony to someone who is more beast than man. And I will have Who knows, you may like it. Gossier cuit. Damn. He's like, okay. J'avoue, salut. That's hilarious. Yikes. Whoopsie. Is that how the season's gonna end? Oh. What an awesome episode. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I did not see any of that coming. Except for like the role of princess thing, but I didn't know how it was gonna end up working. Um, working's a strong word because she is not for it. Like 0% for it. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, wow. So when Ro or not when Rolo, when Ragnar popped out of the coffin, I was like, holy shit, he played everyone. He's alive. This is awesome. And then when he got out of the gate and he was looking at, um, Lagatha, Floki, and Rolo, I was like, oh my god, he heard everything they said. And Floki was a little intense there, and he heard everything, so now he knows for sure that he killed Athelstan. And that's how they ended the season. So we're gonna see what happens with that. Ra or God, I keep getting mixed up. Rolo is going to defend Paris against Ragnar if they come back. We've been here before. That is crazy. But I just, um, I really think Rolo's motivation is what the seer said. He's like, this sounds like the how what the seer said, what the prophecy was, and that I'd be happy and it work out for me. So hell, I'm gonna do it think that's Rolo's motivations now. Um, wow. So I think we're going to have a real big power fight here because Ragnar's still weak. I really don't know if he's still even going to make it, to be quite honest. Um, but we have the Floki thing now. We have Kelf. He wants. He has the whole thing where he wants to be more famous than Ragnar Lofbrook. Um, Horik's son said, hey, maybe we should kill him. 
Oh, I hate that guy. Um, so we're going to have to see what happens here. But I really think uh, he gained the respect of most of the people from what he just did. Like, they're like, wow, he is our king. He is our powerful king. He is Ragnar Lothbrook. King Ragnar Lothbrook. So I think he has the people behind him, but there's just those certain people who want to be in his position that we're going to have to worry about. So I assume we're going to get some more Kattegat action now. We're just going to go back to there. Maybe we'll go back and forth from this, but we have Wessex still. We didn't get any West Wessex in this episode. There's so many moving parts that we're going to have to be resolved in the next season or two. And I'm so excited. I am loving every dynamic. I love the Paris dynamic because you just have that king and the princess and the count and now Robo. I love Wessex, Eckbert, and Quentherith, and Athelwulf, and Judith. Love that. Kattegat, we, we're going to have to deal with everything I just explained. Then we're going to have to add Auslog onto it and their whole relationship. Helga, it's going to be awesome. You guys were so right about this season. I loved it. And I heard that season four is really good too, so I'm excited. I'm super excited. Uh, once again, make sure to put your questions down below for my Season 3 Q&A. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and joining me on this journey. If you've been here the whole time, thank you so much. If you just found me, I hope you subscribe and follow me on the rest of my Vikings journey. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.